Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is gonna be an awesome video right here. Awesome tutorial for you guys. How to play any Windows game on the Mac. So as you guys can see here, so I'm actually using a Mac. About this Mac, uh, here it is. This is what I have. I'm pretty sure you can have better, or worse, and it'll still work. Oh well, yeah, it'll work. So basically, what you're gonna need, uh, God, still got space left. And so what you're gonna need, you're gonna need to come to this website. And this website is gonna be really cool because it's gonna be how to download any Windows game on Mac. It's not download. You don't have to download anything. But um. It's, you're, it's gonna need to be on Steam, and you can play any, absolutely any game. And I'm gonna do doing Counter Strike Global Offensive. I know you can already have it on. Um, I know you can already get it on Mac, but I'm just gonna be displaying it in this video. That's how to get any. So you're gonna have to come to this link, and you're gonna have to create an Nvidia account. And I already have one, so I'm just gonna log in accordingly here. Oops. There we go. It's gonna send you to this right here. You're gonna need to redeem a code. Which I have right here, which will be in the description. This is gonna be a limited time code. You're gonna need to redeem the GeForce Now beta. So you're gonna want to do that. And after that happens, it's gonna it's gonna give you this, okay? It's gonna give you that. I'm just gonna clean up my desktop a little bit here. So it's actually gonna start you off with this, and it's just gonna read it. You click OK on it, and then you're gonna get this, okay? So I'm just gonna skip all that because I I don't want to redo it, and so I don't mess anything up. But here it is the Parsec Mac OS X download. So we're gonna open that. Just gonna quit my Discord for a minute. Quit all that. So, install my computer password. Say download this really quick, and it's already done. So, after that, you're gonna need to come here into your applications folder in NVIDIA GeForce right here. So it's gonna be really quick. And here it is. This is basically what it is. You're going to have to log in through there. It should be a login thing. And, yeah, you're going to need a Steam account, and you're going to have to have ownership of the game to have it. So, PUBG, I'm going to start, I'm going to do some videos for that. So, let's try a free-to-play game that, okay, we're just, we're just going to look around here for you guys. So, these are the games that you can play. All these games you can play. And more. It's not a website yet. So, as I said, I have Counter-Strike on my game, but we're going to do it on here, and it'll show you the Windows feature. So we're going to launch it. It'll pop up this new tab called NVIDIA GeForce Now. So we're going to let that load. It's connecting. So basically what this does, it streams your computer to another computer, which streams back to you, so you're playing on high-tech settings. So it's as if you're playing on a Windows computer. So you just need good internet for this, and it uh, should be working good for you guys. I'm just going to connect now, and we're connecting, and we're going to have to log into your Steam account. So as you guys can see, this is the Windows uh, version of the game. So we're going to log in. Whoops. <laughs> log in, and I do my mobile authenticator, so let's just get my phone out here. So you're going to have to have a Steam account with the games on them to do it, but this is how you can actually play them. So you buy the games before, instead of whole, buying a whole new um, computer for like $1,000 to play um, some Windows games, you can play them on your Mac for just buying the game. So let's just say for a PUBG, so preparing to launch Counter-Strike, we're launching it right now. Instead of paying $1,000 plus the $40 to play for a uh, player known as Battlegrounds uh, or Counter-Strike, I know you can play Counter-Strike, but it's really laggy how it is right now. I'm going to make a video how to do it, um, how to make it not laggy. So as you guys can see, it is it is Windows. It has all the Windows features, web web browser, it has everything. Start it in. It is really loud. Really loud. I'll turn that down a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. So you got all this stuff, and it's going to act as if you're doing that. So... If you want to play your Counter-Strike on really good video settings, head to video settings and see everything is already at the highest. And we're going to head into nothing. And let's head into offline with bots. Let's just let's just do uh, what's the laggiest map? Yeah, it's Nuke. Nuke Nuke is probably the laggiest map. Right now for Mac, like it's unplayable for me when I actually play on my normal thing. We're gonna head into Nuke and show how much of an FPS difference this is. So, 
This is so exciting. I found out. I haven't even got to try it on myself. I just wanted to record it for you guys so you guys can take advantage of this while you can. So I'm actually going to buy a player known Valgrind so I can play this myself instead of buying a whole new Windows PC for like $500. Um, and yeah. So hopefully you guys like this too. I'm not going to do any of the Windows. I know Counter-Strike is compatible with Windows and Mac. But I wanted to show you guys the FPS change that you'll... It's like an example of the S FPS change that you're getting. So, as you guys can see, it has <laughs> really high sensitivity. Like, really high. So, head into game settings. That's not the one. I am a bit of a noob. I think 0 0.7 was mine. Number one. Yep. Uh, okay, we're going to need to open console somehow. So I can see how much FPS I'm getting, so you can see I'm not <laughs> lagging one bit. Might look like it's lagging on the recording, but I'm not lagging one bit. One bit. One bit at all. So let's head and I'm need, I need to figure out how to open console in here. Whoops guys. Sorry about that. I think it's somewhere uh enable developer console. There we go. That's what we needed. So, um, net graph one. So as you can see, we're running 300 FPS on a Mac OS X for Counter-Strike Global Offensive on one of the laggiest maps for Mac usually. So, here, so, uh, if we can, so we can drop down some smokes and see how much we even get with, like, full lag, full smokes, and all that. So, right now we have 300 FPS. This is insane, guys. It's going to be so different. Like, okay. Alright. I'll sit in a smoke. And it only drops down by a little bit. Like on my Mac, it, on my normal normally it drops down by a lot. And see like it gets a bit blurry at times. That's just because it's streaming. And if you have don't have the greatest internet, it's gonna be like this most of the time. But if you have normal internet or like good internet, it won't it yeah, see it's back to normal already. So it won't it won't be bad. So yeah, this is uh really it guys. As I said, you can play all these other games. Um, like these are all the free-to-play games. But if you actually have the game, you need to do that. If you don't have the game, you're gonna need to do that. So, yeah, this—it's awesome. It's Nvidia GeForce now. It's a new new feature of Nvidia, so you can play games on Mac. Um, so yeah, it's awesome, guys. So I think you guys should check this out definitely. Hopefully, this helps some of you guys out. Thank you. Bye.